this cleanser has got to be hands down one of my favorite cleansers if i'm being completely honest i'm not a huge fan of this product as oh i wasn't really feeling it to be honest what's up curlies welcome back to my channel it's your girl kiki and if you are new here i do all things curly hair tips product reviews and styling in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the line from I'm View. This is a vegan hair care brand and you can find it in Boots or Superdrug. Disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. This is literally my personal thoughts and opinions on this line. I have had it for quite a while now and it was gifted to me by the brand. So let's get into the video. So the first product from this line is this cleanser. This is called the Coil Awakening Sulfate Free Cleanser. It has coconut and capasu and baobab oil in it. Now this cleanser has got to be, hands down, one of my favourite cleansers. It's not quite a harsh shampoo. It does work really nicely and really effectively. I really enjoyed using this product. It left my hair feeling clean and not stripped, but was also very, very moisturising. So I would definitely purchase this one again. I think it is a fantastic product and it is very budget friendly. This one only costs £8.99. You can buy it in Boots and Superdrug and i would definitely recommend this if you have high low or medium porosity hair because it is a really great product moving on to the next one this is the curl worship shine oil um, again it's got the same ingredients um coconut capasu avocado and grape seed in this as well this product is a very very lightweight oil i find that i really like to use this when my hair's straight because it's not too heavy but again it is a nice product I don't really tend to use oils a lot on my curly hair just because I don't really like the feel of um, the weight of an oil on my hair, especially when it's in a wash and go state. So I'd rather use them when I am like doing a protective style or something like that. But this one is a nice oil and it has quite a few ingredients on there, but towards the top of the list are the oils that are listed on the front, which means, yeah, it's a really decent product. It's quite small in size, but it does go a long way because obviously I'm just going to squirt it so you can see. It is very, very lightweight, like very lightweight. It smells lovely and it distributes evenly. So I would definitely recommend this one as well. You can get this one from about £5 to about £8. The next product of what I'm going to talk about is this cream gel. Now I've had a couple of these and as oh. Oh my god, what an idiot. Now that's cleaned up, let's get back to the review. Safe to say I won't be using this one anytime soon after I've just scraped up off the floor. Um, but this product is a cream gel. As you can see, it is a funny consistency. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of this product. It didn't work for me when I used it. And by worked, I mean it didn't define my curls and it didn't hold my curls. And for a cream gel product, I'm not expecting too much hold with it being a cream like gel. However, I do expect s at least some definition and it just didn't give me that. So this one would have to be a miss. Obviously feel free to use it if you have good experiences with this product. I have seen a few people use it and it work okay on them but I think this product is quite inconsistent in, in its consistency because I've seen some people get it and it's like this consistency of mine and then I've seen others have more of like a smooth consistency so I'm not really sure but in both of these that I've used because I've had two of these it's been like this and again you can pick this one up for about seven pounds it does have quite a few ingredients in it and quite a few nice ingredients like it has olive oil in it quite a bit of top herb oil shea butter coconut oil avocado oil almond oil like all of these products all of these ingredients and then top of the list yeah it just doesn't work for me but i would definitely recommend it if you like the look of this product or you maybe want to just try something new moving on to the curl respecting conditioner this product is really lovely and it smells really nice that is a huge thing for me as smell. It's light in consistency. It's not a deep conditioning treatment, so you wouldn't leave it on for like a long period of time. It's kind of just your average wash day conditioner, but it is nice and moisturizing and it is quite lightweight, so it is a good one, especially if you have more of like a fine hair texture or maybe you have a little bit of low porosity hair and you don't like too heavy products, like, I would recommend this one. It does contain diamethicone, which is a silicone. So if you maybe don't get along with silicone so well, then 
um, just think twice about using this. It does contain a little bit of protein and coconut oil like the rest of their products do but my hair really likes it and I would definitely use it again. This one retails for £8.99. Next we're going to move on to the Cal Defender Heat Protectant Mist. This one is a heat protecting spray. Thermal styling up to 220 degrees. If you're someone who maybe straightens, blow dries, or diffuses your hair, this is one to use. I have used it a couple of times. It's still very full, um, but I've used it prior to like diffusing my hair. Not trying it on a blow dry yet because I don't regularly blow dry my own hair, but I didn't mind it. I don't think you can really go wrong with a heat protectant. I haven't seen any negative like outcome of it. But this one is kind of here nor there for me. I haven't really seen much from it. You can pick this one up for about $7.99. Next up, we have the Kale Uplifting Conditioning Firm. If you know me, you know I've been through my fair share of firm products. I was like trying to find my favorite firm and I did find my favorite firm. However, this one was not it. In a firm, I am aware that they do provide you with definition. However, they do provide minimal hold because they're such a lightweight product so if you're looking for hold you're best off pairing them with the gel or if you just want like a really soft lightweight hold then go ahead and use them on their own however this one i wasn't really feeling it to be honest like i didn't like the feel of it going through my hair i didn't like the outcome i didn't give me much hold so i probably wouldn't use this one again if i'm being honest you can pick that product up for again about 7.99 so it is very budget friendly However, I think this one would maybe work for the lower end of like the threes, Kelly Girls, as opposed to like type three, type four, Kelly Girl. Last product we're gonna get into is this leave-in conditioner. This one again, same ingredients, coconut and capacitor. I think this is kind of like a staple throughout their line. I do really like this product as well. It smells beautiful, lightweight consistency, and it is moisturizing. Can't really go wrong. It's kind of like neither here nor there for me. This is not one that I literally swear by, but it's not one that I would avoid. I would kind of just use it probably if I didn't have anything else there, because um, I do have my favorite leave-ins and this one is not one of them, um, not for any particular reason, I just prefer other products to this product. However, it is a good one, I would recommend it for all hair porosities, as it does contain some really nice ingredients like coconut oil, mango butter, almond oil, things like that which are really nice and there's not too many like harsh chemicals and stuff like that. You can pick this one up for $8.99. I want to say the only thing I don't like about this is that it is exactly the same colour lid as the conditioner and it's really confusing because there's been a time where I've picked up the leave-in and taken it into the shower thinking it was a conditioner and it's not, it's not the conditioner, it's the leave-in. So the only thing I would, the only thing I would criticise is these two lids need to be different if they're going to be a conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. But overall, I would definitely give this brand like a two out of three stars it definitely it has their products that are certainly more towards my liking like this the cleanser was great i do like the oil product i do like the conditioners however like the gels and the stylers are just missing for me for the reasons that they're not defining enough and the consistency is just meh doesn't work well with my hair but I think it is a good line because it's very budget friendly and it does contain some good natural ingredients as well. Let me know if you've used Ambu or you've heard of them or you're maybe interested in using them and I will see you in the next video.